I do believe I have a whole point here. This is the first hole one I found in a long time. Cool material. I was hoping for something a little more spectacular, but it's not a bad start. Here's that little point cleaned up. It's actually pretty nice. It's got a real nice sand polish cool material it's real well made man there's footprints all over this bar you can see where they flipped that tire over whoever they were well they missed this see anything Found a couple big broken tips too. One of them, man, it would have been real good. Look at that. It's a woolly mammoth tooth. Kind of hard to see with all that algae on it, but that's what it is. I'll give you a better look at it once I get it, get it home and get it cleaned up. But boy, that's a nice little man with tips. Heck yeah. Here's the better look at that tooth I said I'd give you. It's a small one. This is the third small one I've found. I'm assuming these are from juveniles, but I really don't know. But like a full-size Columbian Mammoth tooth is like probably almost three times this size. But like I said, I found two other small ones like this. One of them is super, super nice. This one's not bad. But it cleaned up pretty good. Day number three into the marathon. Yesterday did not produce a whole lot. One decent one, but I walked almost all day for it. There's a kind of unusual looking base sticking up here. Let's see if it has a tip. Pretty material too. Kind of translucent. You mark my spot here so I can pick up where I left off. Let's go wash it off. That's a pretty cool one. I'm not sure what type that is. I've got a couple with bases like that, but I don't find these types real often. Oh yeah, look at that. That is really pretty. Let's try some sunlight. sunlight and a little shade.
cool. All right, let's see if I can get another one. Here's a better look at that point dried off. Might be a table rock, I'm not sure. It's cool, whatever it is. I like it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is still laying here. This spot gets hunted so hard by so many people. I cannot believe no one has found this yet. That is awesome. That made this trip worthwhile. molars next to each other I believe the front one has three humps like this one and the back one has I think five but anyhow that is a mastodon tooth the crowns are worn down pretty good as you can see that's a really good find it's exactly the type of thing I'm looking to find when I'm hunting in this muddy stuff Here it is. Cleaned up pretty good. You can see how worn down the tooth is from the animal chewing. I wish I had um, an unworn example to show you what these crowns look like before they get worn down. But any of you familiar with Mastodon teeth already know. The one good one that I found it was a five hump tooth that had a fully intact crowns. I should have kept it honestly, but I sold it. I regret selling that one. But one of these days I'll find another good one like that. And what was stupid is I really didn't even need to sell it. I don't even know why I did. <laughs> but I did. Anyhow, this one, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool find. And even cooler to find a mammoth tooth and I think like two days apart found two teeth. I mean, there's been some years where, well, there's been stretches where I went two or three years between finding teeth at all. So to find two in a week, that's pretty good. See, that blends in pretty good. That is, that has got a heavy patina on it. Some kind of a drill. It's kind of thick. Look at that thing. It's kind of a weird one. I don't think I've ever seen a drill quite that thick. It's just thick it is as it is wide anyhow it's pretty cool I'll take it all right here's number four for this trip in about an hour so far Whew, it's freezing out here today yesterday it was almost 90 today it's like hovering right above 40 It's not too cold, I'm just not used to it yet. And the wind's howling today. I've been hunting this creek for probably about 10 years, off and on. And there's probably about 20 some bars about like this in the stretch that I hunt. And the bar immediately upstream has produced a lot. Immediately downstream has produced a lot. But never once have I found even a broken artifact on this bar, and I've never understood why, but I finally got one. And it might be broken, I can't tell. <clears throat> I think it's a broken 
to it. Oh no, it's complete. It's a blade. Pretty nice little blade, actually. That's an unusual one. I've never found one like that. It's a weird base. Sorry, it's early in the morning. The lighting's at a weird angle. Pretty cool. Uh, I've been walking all morning. And I think there's a corner notch point right there. Roll up my sleeve and let's find out. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's a pretty good one. Looks like that material was maybe white at one time, and it's just got real heavy iron staining on it. Sweet. I think I've got something here. Not too bad. To start, anyhow. It's hard for me to tell how good this one is. It's pretty crusted up with algae and whatnot. It looks promising. That's a good one too. Sorry about the lighting. It's first thing in the morning. The sun's still real at a real low angle. I'll give you a better view of it later, but it's going to clean up real nice. Here, hang on. The contrast between that light color and the gloves may be the problem. That's a little better. Yep, that's a pretty good one. 